Simply Don, the podcast network. Hello, I said hello. This the only place you ever thought to go. You know that tune. Well, that's what we've got to do. And the only way this thing can keep going is if we all remain on the same page. That's how we'll make money. Like we got to read it? What do you mean, read it? You I don't know the what page. you page. No, 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 no. What do you mean, read it? You said stay on the same page, but we don't have a script. No, no, no. What we do is we talk about our personal lives and pop culture. Right. And most of it is spontaneous improvisation, which is the key to creative genius. Okay. Okay. Do you want to make money, Mole? Um, yeah, but... The I'll... three of us have to work together then. On what page, though? I don't even got a... I don't even got a script. Well, uh, look at this. Well, hello, Congressman Caramelli. Congressman Caramelli. Look at you. You got your suit. You got a suit jacket on. You got a tie. Hey. Come on, get over it. Get, let go. You got your fanny pack. You're knocking over things. Holy smoke, Senator. What's going on, Scaremaster? Went to the meeting this morning. Meeting for what? It Talking to like, the mic. It looks like somebody is very professional now. Oh, it's called gee. dressing to impress. Um, well, we'll find out how everybody's doing once we get started with the show, okay? Scaremaster, you look good, man. I feel like I'm Thank buying you. insurance in, Thank in, you. from an Armenian in Glendale. You're not selling insurance, I don't, I'm are you? I'm not an Armenian in Glendale. What? He's doing I'm it. not an Armenian in Glendale. Coming to you pre-recorded from Simply Don the Podcast Network Studios at a secret location in West Hollywood, California, it's the Big Three Podcast. Hey, look, we're all back in the studio together. And I'm your old pal, Don Barris. You guys know this song playing? It's a Why song you... from our podcast. Okay, Why don't me... you uh, announce your Oh, I'm Maul. I'm Maul. Okay, you should have done that earlier. We can't do this at the beginning. It sounds like... pretty good. No, it, idiot. All right, let's try to be idiot. professional. I just Why am I an idiot? What did I do? About being professional. And he then announced his name. Right. You're say supposed your name. to know your name. I I'm did say my mine. name, but I was excited. No, you didn't song announce again. your name, Jagoff. I just did. say yours, said, Perry. Scary Perry Caravello. You said, oh, hey, you know the song that was playing? Hey, what? You, did you well, know I it? know the song. I'm the one that provided you guys the band. Uh, really? I think I Dan uh, is pretty much their producer. He's not their producer. Pretty their, much, I was. did their music video. Yeah, right. Wrong? He did one video. How many videos did the they do? The one for that song. Without me, you wouldn't have had that band. I would have ended up finding them. No, you wouldn't. I would have. No, you wouldn't. Well, anyway, we have a big show today, and if you've never heard our show before, I would say that we are the number one podcast. That the talks, number one podcast that on talks, Simply Don, the podcast network. Okay, you're you're a little over anxious there, Fido. It's like you've been shot out of a cannon. Yeah, it sure has. I was going to talk about we're the number one podcast that talks about pop culture and our own personal lives. From what I understand, there's a lot of people trying to mimic us, but nobody can do what we're doing. Not even Adam Carolla. But we had a big week this week, and a I don't lo- even want to get into it. Well, Perry, we just said we talk about it's our personal been lives. Insane. All right, then, then you know what we do. Here's what we do. We talk about something that we haven't done a lot of, but because of the fact when you were in the hospital for a short period, they kept playing a movie over and over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again for a little thing called Perry's Movie Time. It's Perry's Movie Time. It's Perry's Movie Time. Perry's Movie Time. This is where Perry will review a movie. Now, Perry was in the hospital for 12 days, and in the rec area, they kept playing this movie over and over again. And what was the name of the movie, Perry? A Weekend at Bernie's. No, not A Weekend at Bernie's. Um, the name of the movie was One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Have you ever seen that movie, Mole? Totally. It's hilarious. I like Martini when he goes on the boat. And also yeah. when that guy Billy, when he slices his neck open. And also when the guy... When the guy lights up like a pinball machine, the other guy plays that, the breathing game with him with the pillow. Okay, well, let's window. let's let's see what uh, Perry has to say about this movie. Well, you know the end of the movie? Look. Oh, go ahead. The movie's starring uh, Louis Fletcher and William Red, uh, Redfield, as well as Brad Dorf and uh, 
Danny DeVito, and of course Christopher Lloyd, and then of then again, and of course then. Not, so this is a double, of course. Double, of course. The lead actor of this film was, I believe, Jack Nicholson's one of his first big, 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 big movies. Not really, but it was a big movie for him. Yeah. I believe he won the Academy Award, but that should have been what you were talking about. Yeah, well. All right, so talk about the movie. Yeah, the, the movie reminds me way too much of where I've been for the past, what is it, 12 days, 14 days? Yeah. 12 years. You are in a movie? No, not in the movie. I was in a fucking hospital. But those guys were in a movie. They were in a movie. I was in a hospital pretending I was in a movie. So tell everyone what happens in the movie. I'll tell you everybody that happened. I'll tell you what happens in the hospital to make it. No, better. what we're doing is it's your movie review. Oh. This is why the bosses upstairs don't want you fucking doing anything because it's your movie review. Not talking what? about the hospital. We'll talk about that later. Okay, movie review. This is a film about a bunch of guys, you know, mentally incompetent guys, guys that have problems with their family, whatever. But uh, they're all in this insane asylum. Like Camarillo was, like Fairview, the hospital in Costa Mesa, like um, there was, uh, there was another one that I was in, um, near Loma Linda, I forget the name of it. Um, and then Palm Springs, another mental institution. But, uh, and by the way, talking about Palm Springs being a mental institution, I'm going back for the 30th high school reunion this coming month in uh, October 20th. October 20th? Well, you know what? That's just around the corner. Yeah. You know what? Not only is it your 30th year since you graduated from high school, this podcast that we're doing today will start airing on October 12th. And the what is before. the ninth anniversary of October 12th for us? That's Windy City Heat. Can we go back to what happens in the movie? Hey, you know who produced that movie? Saul Zan, Zan's Can't Dance. I thought Michael Douglas had something. He also did. He yeah. produced it with him. Okay, well, we'll get into our anniversaries. Go back to the movie a little bit. All right, let's finish this review of the movie. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Well, about One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, you know, they, they, they showed where, uh, where um, Nurse Ratchet and the other nurses given doing the... Uh, you know, doing doing the medicine Hokey, Hokey. thing, and it's medicine time. Come and get your medicine. Everybody's standing in line, getting their drugs and stuff. Da, 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 da. Don't, please. And, and uh, well, Nurse Ratchet had a had a little bit of a controlling attitude towards uh, some of the patients. If you had to compare yourself to someone in that movie. And put us in the same roles. Who would who would I be? be martini. Let me be Martini. Who? Martini. Let me see the cards. Not the Martini. Cards. Oh. Bencini. Henry Mancini. Ban. Wait, was it Martini or, or uh... Henry Mancini? Not Henry Mancini. Did the Pink Panther thing? Did you? Yeah. Did you? So what happens in the movie? Um, they go from playing cards in a game room to uh, uh, having having. Um, they went on a fishing trip. Uh, uh, Jack Jack and his girlfriend steal a boat. I guess they go on a big fishing trip. McMurphy, right? McMurphy escaped. R. P. McMurphy. Yeah. McMurphy escaped. You ever seen a beaver in your face that yeah. close? Yeah, the hell he did. I know he did. I didn't sell two eight mirrors in his house in Long Beach. The, the, the sad dress. part about the film was when uh, they put um, the sponges up against Jack Nicholson's temples and to wash his head and and uh, give him some juice. You know what that was? Yeah, it's the electrical shock shorts. therapy. That's right. And remember, then what happens to him? Remember Blue Iris? She had that happen to her thirteen times. Oh God. It's an unlucky number. When it, it really comes to is. Stuff like that. And now she's gone. Where'd she go? She died. Oh, she's probably passed because away. she did that 13 times. No, she lived through that, but I think it kind of beat her up a little bit. Definitely. Back Scare to Master, the movie. What happened to the guy? Well, he got so, you know, 
torqued from from the electric therapy, the shock therapy that uh, towards the end of the movie that uh, Chief just couldn't stand looking at uh, at Jack Nicholson all messed up with that so shock therapy. So what did he do? Put a pillow over his face and smothered him to death. Spoiler alert. You gotta say that before you tell the end of the movie, Perry. That is the end of the I movie. I know, but you gotta alert. say spoiler alert. So okay, people... so then what did he do? Then what did he do after he did the breathing game? Breathing game? Yeah, he did the pillow, and then you remember what he did? That was basically the end of the movie. What about the water fountain? What? He pulls a water fountain. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a water fountain, that's a sink. Okay. What did he do? Pulled the sink right out of the ground. Uh, and then what did he do with it? He threw it out the window. And then what did he do? Then he escaped. And then you know what? And then you see him going across the field. And do you know what the cop said to Nurse Ratchet? What? You left your engine running. <laughs> you know, I thought when I saw that movie, I thought this is going to be a great intro to the sequel. And I thought it would be like the chief, what he did once he got out of the institution, where you it would go from there. Running. But they didn't do that. that you know? That's the... Cute and funny. Yeah. What's cute and funny? You left your engine running. No, it's a now, true who, story. Who would you say? It is a true story, I know. All right, put us in the characters. What character would you have been? Myself, I would see myself as either Jack Nicholson or um Martini. Or not Mart not Martini, I'm Martini. Pancini. Which one was Pancini? The guy Henry was, Mancini. Not Henry Mancini. Moon Mancini. No, you guys, the, the guy that was strapped down to the bed in the beginning of the film. That's who I would have been. Who's that, Billy? Bancini. You don't have to tell my mother. That's you do? Yeah, that's you do? Billy Bibbit. That's the other guy. Is it Bibbit? Billy How about Bibbit? Christopher Lloyd's in that, too? I know. How did he sound? Lloyd. What did he say? Do you, Christopher Lloyd? Oh, you know. Oh. Time for your anima, Christopher Lloyd. Time for medication. Your anima. Danny DeVito, um, he would be the other guy that I probably would be. You know, after they... Um, he would be more like my dad. After my they, dad after he does a breathing game and he kills McMurphy, uh, Nurse Ratchet comes in and, and Martini goes, uh, give him an anima. And the Nurse goes, no, it's not going to help him. He's, Give him an enema. It's, it's not, it's, he's messed up. He goes, give him an enema. She goes, look, he's dead. He's dead. What good's an enema going to do? And Martini goes, couldn't hide. That, that was a joke. You that, no, that was in the director's cut. That's definitely a joke. That's the director's cut. Watch the Blu-ray, dude. Watch I'll have to do that. Well, anyway, I can see why the bosses upstairs don't like this segment. That, once again, was Perry's Movie Time. It's Perry's Movie Time. Perry's movie time. Perry's movie time. Because you guys are always interrupting my movie time. I don't. I think we helped out. Yeah, we know. talk yeah, about you the did. historic yeah, you, you, director's cuts and alt endings and deleted scenes and our own personal lives and pop culture. All right. I mentioned this before, but today, the day that this starts airing, what big event in the history of the Big Three happened today, nine years ago? Uh, 9-11? No, it's not 9-11. What the fuck are you he talking said 9/11. about? No, but I asked you, and you said 9-11. I said, he don't said say 9-11, because it's not 9-11 today. Oh, jeez. 10 is my daughter's birthday. 10-12 is when we had our the release of the movie. Right. Exactly. What are we doing for your daughter's birthday this year? She's 21. She's not 21. Hold it. 23 or 4? You know what's really nice? I'll tell you something funny. Perry had not talked to his daughter in a long time. And Perry's manager, and this is one of these feel good stories. Perry's manager actually got Perry and his daughter talking again. Oh, that's well, nice. That was text really. Text messaging, yeah. Well, which it's was better nice. than before. Yeah. What, what do happened? you text her? Do you text her emoticons and stuff? No, I. I we. Do you ever text her? Pictures of girls with huge tits or anything. Shut like, up. Like, this could be your new mommy. God, you guys are fucking assholes. Why don't you text her something? Say, I met this lady. We're finally going to give you that baby brother you've been wanting. Dude, if I'm going to give my daughter a baby brother, 
That would have been 20 years ago. Okay, no. but Barry. You got to get over late. this whole time frame. Exactly. I'm old enough to be a grandfather. What would it be like for her to have a little brother running around? Hey, come on. At the age of 23? Yeah. It'd be nice for her. I don't know. It's your final decision, but it, I, I don't want any more kids. I don't see One's why enough. it's a bad thing. Listen, I just think it's. One's enough. I think you're. I think you need to to share your offspring with the world. I do too. Before the Indian comes in and plays the breathing game. Did you want to for me to share my offspring on in the world? Don't even look at Mary Jane that way. <laughs> it's not funny at all, Mary Jane. Your immediate thought about Perry talking about even touching you. <laughs> That's unacceptable. Shoot me in the head. Shoot you in the oh, head. Oh, by the way, another big three anniversary is coming because on October 15th, it marks the two-year anniversary of us doing podcasts together. Our first podcast went up on October 15th, two years, two years ago, ago mm-hmm. on Ace Broadcast. God, October it feels 15. like so much longer than two <laughs> it years. It really does. It, does. it October- feels like a really like we've been doing a really long time. Yeah. Isn't isn't that the night that uh, Chicago the lights went out in died. Georgia? What? The night the lights went out in Georgia. I, I said the night Chicago died. So we both went two you different routes. What, no, is, the final, to, pick what is the final was it? answer? Is it A, the night Chicago died, or B, the night the lights went out in Georgia? The night the lights went out in Georgia. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, oh, fuck man. yeah! Nice job, That's a night that they shot an innocent man. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> don't, don't trust, trust your so, to no southern, southern lawyer. That's it. Because Georgia got, Joe's got blood stains on, on his hands. hands. That's it, baby. So that so happened. that night, excuse me, um, is the night this year we're going to be doing the big show at the store, right? Yeah, that, I don't think uh, it's you a big me, show. Well, I, I no. call it a big show because, uh, for one, I'm going to be... Uh, You're doing Back in Black. You're damn right. You're going to wear the suit? Hey, Not Mole. This one. Mole, is there any way that you could come to that thing? I, am I allowed to? F- are you kidding? You're when does it allo- go? You know what would be fun, and I'll tell you what might be fun, is when he comes up to sing his song, because we're doing a lot of other songs. I accompany him on, like, a, like a sticks. You come out, and you introduce him, and then maybe help him in any way oh, you can. Oh, I could, yeah, I could, I could, you could bring me up, I could bring Scaremaster up, Scaremaster could, could do the song, and I could, oh, I could, what if I play drums? We have drums there. I don't know how to play them, but that would help. By the way, speaking of drums, I want to show you this. We got something the other day. If I was to mention this guy's name to you, Sib Hashing. Oh, man, you'd be talking about the rocking his dude. You'd be talking about a guy who not only wants his peace of mind, he wants a long time peace of mind. A guy who's smoking, a guy who don't look back, a guy who wants to take you by the hand and make you understand Amanda. Okay, what you're basically you're saying, Are you're those thinking all the of songs that he wrote or something. No, this is the drummer from the band Boston. Oh my dude! Now he, from what I understand, is a big fan of the Big Three podcast. Oh, that's oh really? Awesome. And when that he, he would even think about us, man, that just blows my. That's mind. cool. Well, guess what? Here's how much he thought about us. When you celebrated your birthday a while back, look what he sent. What? <laughs> Whoa! I'm I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Yeah, Master, look at this. I'm totally speechless. Tell, tell him what it was. They're throwing that shit at me. Tell him what it is, Mole. That's a that's a uh, it's an autograph. That's picture. a five by seven. Hashian. That's a five by seven picture Hashian, of of, uh, of your. Uh, it's an favorite? autographed picture of, of the. Of of the of, and what's it say? It says Sib Hashin to Mole. You kick a word. Oh, fucking man. awesome! That's man. cool. Drums, percussion, and vocals, look on the other Boston. side. There's another side. Ah, it says, "Hey, Maul." <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks, Sib. Hey, Sib, you kick a word. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And I knew that would make you happy. We haven't done a show where I've seen you for a while, but I've had that for a little while. Man, it's exciting. Uh, and you know, look at it- how jealous Scaremaster is. I'm not jealous. I'm, I'm congratulations. Thank what if, you. I'm just speechless. What if Angus that, Young sent you a picture? You wouldn't be excited. That'd be cool. Yeah, but he probably doesn't listen to the podcast. Maybe never know. Right now, it is time to do something where we involve the people at home. A time where you can get 
what you have on your mind, and let us hear about it. It's time right now for our $10 shout-out. $10 shout-out. Now we have a few shout-outs for today. Uh, Mole, would you like to start us off with one? Dear Perry, I want you to please tell the spaghetti joke. I haven't closed $20. If you tell the entire spaghetti joke from start to finish, the $20 becomes the property of Perry. If you need assistance with the joke, you can ask Mo for help. But if you don't tell the entire spaghetti joke, or if you F it up, the $20 goes to Dan, Barney, Mo, and Mary Jane. Thank you for your compliance. Sincerely, Anakin Skywalker. So you want to tell the spaghetti joke? Oh, my God. Don't mess it up, man. <laughs> because if you mess it up... What's, what? Spaghetti Joe, what about my ex-wife fucking up on her her cooking in the <laughs> yeah of the uh, Spaghetti Joe? And how I used to bitch her out and get fucking mad. I mean, there's really no joke there. It's just all reality bullshit. So, so what? What? I there really is no joke there. It's just okay. All... So you're not gonna do it. <laughs> well, then we keep it. Thank you. Oh yeah. Perry, it said tell the joke. Oh, you what are you talking about? Keep the fucking money! I got nothing to say! Oh, oh, wait. Talking All right. The joke. Well, I come home from work. Yeah. I come yeah. home from work. I ask her what she's making. She goes, your favorite sauce. I go, what's in the sauce? And she says, she's, I forget what she was saying. But there were two ingredients she did not mention. What were those two ingredients? My favorite two ingredients, garlic and oregano. And I said, where's the garlic, where's the oregano? You don't put oregano in, in, in uh, what was it, marinara sauce or something like that? And I fucking grabbed her by the throat. And no, you up. strangled her. She didn't put oregano in the mushrooms that time, in the sauteed mushrooms. That was it. Yeah, remember your joke. This is the spaghetti joke we're talking oh. about. Not the time you strangle her for not putting oregano. You got, you strangled <laughs> a strangler because she cooked oh, the spaghetti you know, in a sauce pot. There's just pot. so much shit that's been so going on So many different times that you lately. strangled her. Okay, yep. okay. okay. the one time you strangled her for mushrooms because and threw up against your refrigerator, because she didn't put oregano in the sauce. That's my much. favorite time. You know why? Because it's Christmas he, time. It's he Christmas put her up time. against the refrigerator, choking her, and her feet were off the ground. Yeah, it was Christmas time. Yeah. And the other, that, and the other like one. Like the doctor that I picked up. Now, tell us about that. that. Did he forget to put oregano in stuff? No, the fucking guy put a Thorazine shot in my back. So he <laughs> gave you the stuff that turns you into Thor. Explain Thorazine what that is, is, is the name of a medication. Right. It's experimental that, stuff. That, Just to that clarify, I'm let me to. Hey, hold on. This was at the hospital that you spent twelve days in the Kaiser Permanente psych ward. Yes. Take it from there, and you had a doctor that gave you the wrong uh, medication. The wrong medication. It was something that I'm allergic to. And what was that? Thorazine is one of them. Th uh, let's see, Prozac. I'm allergic to Thorazine. I'm allergic Pizza. to. Pizza. He's not allergic to pizza. He's allergic Italian. To Lactose. Yeah. He's a gypsy Italian. I'm They're not allergic to, to pizza. Cheese. I'm allergic to cow dairy. Not allergic to oregano or garlic. No, those are seasonings. But you're allergic to the Thor medicine. You're allergic to cheese. The Thor medicine. That's right. Thorazine. So, you know, and it, I have to take stuff to keep me, uh, you know. So now, where's why are you guys keeping the twenty dollars? I'm not keeping twenty dollars. What I want to know is, did you take the Thor medicine before or after you guys went on the fishing trip in the guy's boat? I wasn't. I oh, oh so you're talking about being a part of the movie and stuff? Which, we didn't go on no fishing trip. I was in the hospital. That was the movie that you saw. But the movie that I saw, if we were. In the movie. Okay, but Perry, that was during Perry's movie time. We've moved on. We're in the ten dollars shout out oh, segment right. now. All right, let, let me read this next one. Dear Big Three, I'm back once again with my report on new info. What I'm finding to be one of the worst people that I've ever been around or ha have ever had to deal with. I have a reason to believe that the filthy Italian gypsy may have been lying about going into the Kaiser Permanente psych ward. I have people looking at the sea. What is becoming a once a week occurrence of catching the gypsy fib master and another one of his nonstop lies. Anyway, if you need my help in any way, I'm always there for you. Big three. Hugh A. Craig the third. Who is the hell is that? He's been writing. He's the guy who's been writing the, the Perry leaks. You know what, Hugh? 
I think that we're going to call you our little snippet over there. Or what do you think it would be a good name? No, no, I don't know what it is. All right, we'll think of a nickname for Hugh, and we always appreciate your information. Oh, here we go. And, I'd be, and I would be interested to see if Perry was in the hospital or not. Were you in the hospital for 12 days? Do I have to talk about it? I think you should. I think I shouldn't. You don't Why? have to if you don't want to. I don't to. want to. Thank Why not? You. It's just... I don't want to. I don't. It's part of his personal life. He doesn't want to talk about. You you. know, and I can understand that because some people think like some people think like the fact that Perry um, committed himself to a mental institution. Maybe that's something that we shouldn't talk about on the show. Maybe we're just getting too real, and it's just. You know what? Maybe this whole kind of um, cinema verite of seeing the unraveling of a crazy mm. narcissist and weighing that against his need for recognition and affection versus his underlying deep-seated mental illness might pass a certain line of decorum and and taste that even the the most ardent fan would say is is just too too much. But then, you know, some other guys, you know, never would have let her go. I stashed a bill in my shirt. That's some Harry Chapin tax. I didn't know that. <laughs> the, Remember? The, and another well, man might have been angry. You, you make an interesting point. I don't even There's know no what part, I said. I, I don't know what you said either. But here's what I would like to bring up. Would you at least address the issue of this guy says he might have information that claims that you weren't even in the hospital? Aha, Jacuse. First off, who's this guy? One. That's Hugh H. Craig the Third. He, he's he's the guy. He's that... the editor in chief of, of Perry Leaks, dude. You got to give him some credibility. The editor in chief of Perry Leaks. He's the guy that went into your bank account, things like that. So and he found out a lot of interesting. Oh, so so that's the guy that's been, uh, um, um, what we call it, hacking into my stuff. I don't think he's hacked into lately because I told him not to anymore. But he said he found some information about the possibility about you not going to the hospital. And I think that would be best, and I really mean this, if you didn't go, I think, you know, to come clean right now would be the best thing to do instead of waiting for later when everyone finds out and then they hate you for lying and lying and lying again. All right, I'll come clean. What do you mean? I'll come clean. What do you mean you'll come clean? You want me to come clean? I'll come clean. What? Yeah, you, you guys are you guys have caught me in a lie. This is like the biggest lie I've ever told in ages. What? Because I'm I'm the worst when it comes to holding down a lie. What? I have the hardest trouble being able to tell a lie and keep a you're lie. Ju- you're a truthful guy. Because I'm a truthful guy. That's what Thank we you know you much. as. We know you as the guy that never lied. <laughs> so you never went to the hospital. No. So in the rec room. That you went in in the psych ward of the Kaiser Permanente. They were not playing one flew over the cuckoo nest on a loop, like you said earlier. It does seem especially insensitive for the people who program the films to, to dig up a, a Milos Forman movie from the <laughs> 70s that's about mental illness and play that in a psych ward. It does seem a little weird, but that did it was not playing in my psych ward. <laughs> so Perry, what does that mean? so you didn't go into the hospital and say no. you were going to commit suicide. No. I played a stupid, 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 lying game on planet Earth because I was looking for sympathy. I was in a bad state of mind that one day, the day the fucking uh, shuttle flew over. The day the music died. Okay, if you want to call it Shuttle flew over, okay. The shuttle flew over. Um, I was going through some mental shit. I dropped off my friend. I left, and just some mental shit's going through my head. And um, I just said, I can't handle it no more. I'm done. So you lied to us and made us feel bad. I lied to everybody. I lied to you guys. I lied to fucking Lisa. I lied to her. You never got Thor medicine. Are you on medication? I'm on medicine, but I'm not on the medication that I'm allergic to. You were never given that. So you never chose to. I the wasn't doctor given out. that this time, but it was given to me before. Yeah, years ago, some other thing that you went to. You went to, 
Almost Look, like. Look, I've been in the hospital. Well, yeah, everyone's been in the hospital. Stupid. Shut your fucking mouth. You were in the hospital because you broke your neck skateboarding. Not Twice. because you got given Thor medicine. Thorazine you got was in given the hospital to me. because of your broken Thorazine skateboarding neck twice. Not this when time. You didn't in, get any Thor medicine. This time. Yeah, but you just weren't. Yeah, but that was the back 80s. The 80s. That was okay. the 80s, but this isn't the 80s. No. This is now, dude. You didn't get Thor medicine and you didn't break your neck skateboarding again. That was a couple years ago. All right. Well, then maybe you lied about that, too. Maybe you've lied about all these hospitals. Maybe. 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 Oh, really? Maybe you never even did a commercial for Alvarado Hospital. Is that true? Randy Callen was is a made-up figure in your mind? Please. It's another hospital lie. If Randy Callahan was a made-up figure, then the gay shit would have never even happened. Well, then maybe it's just your way of coping with it. Maybe that's just your way of... of uh, then, then every fucking extra role I've done was fake. I never did any of them, okay? And then Wendy then, City, he was fake. That was real. Why was that I don't real? Know. No, I don't know. I don't Why know. was Wendy City Heat real? Because you, you and I were in that movie. It's on DVD. Maybe it's just one of those shared experiences where we all have the same mental thing going on. You think Maybe so? that pipe that you have in your hand, man. Is fake. Oh yeah, really, Scare Master? I don't think you. Maybe should that be fucking smoke that's coming out of your mouth when you is were fake, there man. Lying to us when we were. Oh man. Well, you know what? And you know what? Mine again, to... again, again, you guys. I apologize. Look at this. From the I'm bottom sti- of my heart. I'm sticking I my apologize. left index finger at you, and I'm scraping the top of it. With my right index finger like that. And you're it's pushing like, all the shit off your finger into my face. It's huh? almost like you're saying, shame, shame on you, shame. Perry. Everybody knows your shame, name, shame, Scare shame. Master. So, Perry, this entire time, you were fucking with us. Yeah. You were fucking with us? Yeah. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it at all. Listen. Let me ask you a question, okay? What? When you were in the hospital, you know you missed the big meeting we had set up. Yeah, with Matt. I fucked up the the uh, contract. All right. Well, I don't know if there's a contract on iTunes, like I told you before. Well. Okay. The Triple T Matt meeting is. You know what? Let's move on. Mole, would you read this next letter? I will, but I'm really freaked out right now. I don't blame you. This one says, Dear Dan, I apologize for my last letter. I apparently misspelled your name in a way that brought a painful childhood memory. By misspelling your name as Dan Bear Ass, I've apparently triggered visions of snotty-nosed kids on the school bus yelling, Dan Bear Ass at you. I didn't know that there was a sore spot, and I'm sorry. On a personal note, I sympathize. Shut up. Just shut up. My last name is Hollerback, and I've been called a Hollerback girl three times a week since 2004. Anyways, to make it up to you, I've included $40 in a list of sponsors that are keen to sponsoring comedy podcasts and detailed instructions how to land these deals. Hope there are no hard feelings. And please consider me as a possible replacement if Perry Caramelli is detained any longer in the loony bin. Also, it's a good thing Perry Caramelli is a Java host witness. This way, he can stay in the asylum through Christmas and always have an excuse of why he's not giving doctors and nurses Christmas gifts. Even though they've been putting up with his temper and spun bathing the grease off of his disgusting Italian A-word. Italians, the lowest form of humans. Big three. Much love, Eric Hollerback. P.S. Catch me on the Self-Indulgent Podcast. Self-Indulgent Podcast, episode 121. Okay. Learn something there. I gotta just tell you, man. I'm sorry, Eric. That was a big lie about Scaremaster in the hospital. Sorry that you... You're sending all your sympathies to him in there. Yeah. People really cared about you, man. Yeah, you know how much we you know how much money was spent at that candlelight vigil, dude? By the way, if you have any pictures of, of the candlelight visual, uh hoping that Perry would get out of the hospital because I know that please there's a lot of to us. please send it or put it up on Facebook. Uh, I'm dying to kind of see it. I'm and again, I'm very sorry that you were conned. I so really am. I'm very sorry. You're that not I'm sorry. sorry. You did it. You've done it before. I, 
<clears throat> well, you know what? This is what we got to do. We got to put up with it, Mole, because you know what? He's the best. No, it's not that he's the best. We love him. He's our buddy. No. He's the mental He's the mental institution? No, because, Perry, this is his thing. This is his big thing. And you know what? If we didn't have this, we would have nothing. Wait a second. I'm completely wrong. We have plenty of things where this is the only thing Perry has going for him. Well, keep doing it, Perry. It will be over soon. And to the people out there, I say this from the bottom of my heart. I'm really sorry for what Perry did, and I'm sorry that you poured your emotions into something. You know what? I don't think Perry's ever going to understand what the fuck he does. And that was today's $10 shout-out. $10 shout-out! Wow. Well, this whole thing makes me wonder if there's anything I can ever believe in again. Well, it's time to talk about a real hero. It's time once again for the Cookie Caramello Update. Hey, Sib Hashin, drum roll. All right, Cookie Caramello is Perry's father, and Cookie was a cook in the Navy. That's where he gained his fame. He served tours of thing? duty in not only World War II, but also the Korean conflict. But what he's most known for wasn't his cooking. It was for the policy of the don't ask, don't tell. He was the first guy to really fight what? for something like that. He's doing don't ask, don't cookie. And on February, when I think it was. He invented February, the Oki cookie. The Oki cookie? Excuse me. I did not know he invented the Oki cookie. That's the word. In early February, they pulled the plug on Cookie. And every show, we try to find out how he's doing. Cookie Caramello, is he alive or is he dead? If he was dead, I'd let you guys know you. Did you tell him no, you were in a mental institution? Did you lie him to nervous? him? Yeah. I haven't. Mm, so no. you, so he was checking on you on Facebook and seeing everybody he saying. He doesn't. He can't see. He doesn't. He's. He's. Going I thought you blind. gave him six thousand dollars for. I I've given him eight thousand dollars for new eyes, right? So he can see out of one eye, but not you know he. But not the other. He's unable to read. He's. He can see. You know. He's illiterate. Can he play the piano? That's that was my mom's job. My mom was the pianist in the family. My dad. I heard that Cookie said to the doctor, "When you put these eyes in, will I be able to play the piano?" The doctor said she'll be fine. He goes, "Great, because I couldn't play it before." Is that what he really said? Oh God! Or is no, that a, mom. or did Cookie Caramello lie about that? No, he didn't lie. No, Mo. Sorry. Is, is the Caramello a word. trait in their family to lie to everything? No, we don't lie about everything. You know, I, I'm not a li I'm not a big time liar. Uh, this week you are. You're the biggest time this liar. Week, the okay, this week, okay, I lied about the fucking hospital thing because I was stupid and I wanted some fucking sympathy for something dumb. What did I do? I put my fucking foot in my mouth. You sure did. Mm. Yeah, you did. But that's fine, Perry. You can do it. You can do anything you want, right? But right, it went Mo? on for a long but time. I wanna, I but wanna, that lie went on for a long time. What how long? Would it, what, two weeks? Yeah, that's a long time to be lying to people. Yeah, especially when when everyone's depending upon you because we're trying to do a job. I mean, that two weeks to lie to someone's camera at you. Could you imagine us sitting there and lying to you and just, just fabricating some bullshit scenario just forever, just forever, just... Just trying to but, just, just say this is I, what the reality this, is. I would want when no part of that. Is, 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 I would want you, no you. part of that. Stop, Perry. Let's just move on. We've got to put up with it because you're Perry, right? That's right. Exactly. Because you're better than us. We Better? We have all the time in the world to fuck around Better get this. a bucket. I'm going to vomit. Yeah. Ah. Thanks, Perry. Thanks. I don't. I don't think you understand how much this hurts us. Especially I'm me. I'm sorry. I, I, ex I expect this sort of stuff from Vince in the sound room, but you're my best friend. How can I be your best friend? I don't even know where the fuck you live. I'll tell you this. You know what's really crazy? You you bring up Vince. Now, he's been our sound guy for a while and doing a great job in the sound. But every time we go into the sound room of the studio at a secret location in West Hollywood. Apple, cherry, with tobacco smoke all over the place. Not only Apple, that, cherry with tobacco but things smoke. are missing. Vince is a thief. <laughs> really? Don't say anything. Don't you want him to hear him? You should set something up where you catch him. Oh, I got a good idea. You should put like 
Put like some money under a box with a stick and a string on it. He's probably like, we'll talk about it after. Or you know what I should do? Put some money into a wallet with a an arrow pointing at the wallet. See if he takes it. Oh, you know what you do? You get out one of those little cocaine bottles and fill it with rat poison. All right, so Scaremaster, no more fake uh, mental institutions? No more. Because how are we going to know? you like the boy who cried crazy wolf. Right. I'm already. How about when you really do go to a mental institution, be like, oh, sure you are. Yeah. I'm really going to kill myself this time. Sure you are. Sure you are. They're giving me Thor medicine. (laughs) Right. By the way, look at this on Campbell's Soups. Perry the Platypus. Oh, cool. Let me see. No. No. You know Perry the Platypus, don't you, Mole? Yeah, the guy on the show with yeah. Phineas and Ferb. Who exactly. Modeled after Scary Perry's role in Windy City Heat, allegedly. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm not making a dime. I'm not making How a much penny are you off making that. off that? I'm not making a penny off that. Do you that. know a platypus isn't actually isn't actually a fish? What is a platypus? You know. I don't know. I don't know what a platypus is. Duck bill platypus. Don't ask me. Ancient reptile. I don't know. Hey, is that a phone call coming? I don't think so. You don't think so? If it is, send it on through, please. Hello, babies. Hello. Haven't seen your face for a while. Have you quit doing time for me, or are you still the same spoiled child? Hey, Mr. Adams. How are you? So very, very wonderful to hear the big three back and forth. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not so sure about that, Mr. Adams. Why, Mr. Bonus? What's the problem? I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Well, first, we didn't know if it's worth doing the podcast because Perry's all messed up and stuff. And he's really been unprofessional. Ah, that's yes, right. Yes, really I unprofessional. See, see. And disrespectful. I understand that Perry checking himself into a mental hospital on a whim isn't exactly professional towards Mr. Bonus's hard work. I know. But I've listen, if I may, if I may, Mr. Bonus, I believe... The Poets 38 special said it best when they said, When Perry lets you down, the heart needs a second chance. They also did hold on loosely. And caught up in you. Yes, oh, yes, these are all quality 38 special tunes. But Mr. Barnes, listen. My papa taught me that the heart wants what it wants, and also the penis, even more so, usually, it I, wants what it wants. I don't really get that. What do you, what do you that, say? You know what? That, that is not important. What is important is that the three of you get back to delivering the finest cast in Podlandia. Now, on to big news, Perry. I have a bit of a surprise for you. Really? Would you like to hear what it is? Listen, listen. I've nearly secured you an audition to a wonderful telly program that I believe oh. you would be perfection within. Oh, I've really? sent along M- Walter with something to get you excited about. And Walter, give him the show. Uh, it's for Scaremaster? Yes, yes, indeed. It was for Scaremaster. Yeah, Perry, tell me. Look at it. Look what at do you front. think? It says Glee. Yes, Glee? yes, yes. Look, look. Glee. Yes, you guys are going to set me up with Glee? Now, I'll tell you something. Your voice... Plus, your love of show tunes equals Hitsville, USA. Cool. Also, we need someone willing to kiss several men passionately whilst they sing. Sorry. That so I do will it. not you do. do that. It's kissing that and singing. Will not do me be this favor. Will you do me this favor? Think on it. Just think on it. In the I'm meantime, not kissing I do any have men. one question. Ah, uh, joke, 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 Walter, joke. Walter, Walter, calm yourself. Calm yourself. I merely wanted to ask you, gents... If you had heard about the corduroy pillows. Yeah, sure have. They're making headlines. Indeed they are. Yeah. Indeed they are. Do you get it, Scaremaster? What's that? But yes, yes, yes. It's headlines? a thinker. It's a thinker. Headlines, yes. Oh, okay. Anyway, it's a thinker and I'm a stinker. I must skip to the loo before I soil myself. Toodles on and welcome back. Thank you, Thank Mr. You. Adams. Uh, scare, uh, Mr. Adams, Scaremaster lied about the mental... No, I couldn't tell him. He's off the phone. I could not tell him. Thank you. He's he would have really flipped upset. the fuck out. You know he was going to dedicate a wing at that hospital? The more I get Look. away from the announcement, the more I feel like, my God, what the fuck is going on here? You know what's a set? Can I say something? Guys, say can I ask a favor? Yeah, what? Sure. Please do not make any more announcements about this Scare bullshit master, thing you, that I did to you guys. You're lying about about being injured or being messed up is so uncool because that's what friends do. 
You know what? Let me tell you something. You're joking about going to the hospital. I was in the hospital today. Okay. It's scary. Look, I cut my hand. I was making a, a mortadella sandwich. And you cut your finger? Yep. No fun. <laughs> uh, that's like me that was lying. A joke. That was a joke there. I see. And you got a spring inside there or something. Is that the end of $10 shout outs? Didn't we close it out earlier? Yes, you did. All right. Let's close it out again. Did we ever close up Perry's movie time? Yes, we did. Let's do them both right back to back. This is for Perry's movie time. It's Perry's movie time. It's Perry's movie time. Perry's movie time. And this is for the ten dollars shout out. Ten dollars shout out. All right, now a, a quick question for you, Perry. And you know, if you don't want to talk about it, I understand. I received a couple calls today from your manager, Nick. What is going on with the two of you guys? Well, we I made up with them. Okay. Okay. Well, I was having a dispute this week, and it was over a bunch of shit. And was it about you lying about going to the hospital? Um, did he? No, it was about illegal garbage. Does he know that you lied about going to the hospital? Yeah, he does. Oh, you know what? He might have told me in a phone message he left for me. Maybe we should play that phone message and just see what he had to say. Is that okay with you? Go ahead. All right, hit that phone message, please. Hey, Don, this is Nick, man. Um. I kind of explained a tiny bit what happened. Uh, um, Cora wanted to say something and tell you what happened. Hi, Uncle Don. Some things were worrying about me and saying nice things to my dad. I was waiting for my mom to call because my grandma is real sick in the hospital. And the phone rang and I picked up the phone and Perry and, and, and were screaming at me and said I was dead. And they say this is the, they will get rid of us. And they were swearing bad words at me. And I was scared and I don't remember the rest. Oh, shit. Okay. They're, they're just bad guys, Perry. Um, my son uh, doesn't remember the rest because he was so scared and shaking so bad after they fucking scared the crap out of him that... His body shut down, and he had a seizure. And I had to take him to the hospital. I'm not, I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I'm fucking pissed. Oh, by the way, uh, you know this. My son's autistic. Um, I'm done. I can't take that fucking bastard anymore. He doesn't deserve to be part of the big three. You should find somebody who fucking wants it and deserves it. You need to get away from Perry, dude. He's bad news. If I can't help him, nobody can. I I, I love the big three. You worked your ass off for this Don and Mary Jane and Vince, and I felt worse for you guys because this fucking guy took it away from you guys again. Oh. I want to say Mole worked together really hard, and that was Perry's manager. But now it's time with 60 Seconds with Perry. Go! Oh, my God. 60 Seconds with Scary Perry Skateboards. To order Scary Perry Skateboards and T-shirts, go to www.scaryperryskateboards.com. Again, that's spelled S-C-A-R-Y-P-E-R-R-Y-S-K. The number eight and boards.com. Are you lying about the skateboards like you lied about going no, to the mental hospital? Let him have his 60 Sorry. seconds. They're USA made. The shirts are USA made. No, maybe say, I, and that's no lie, like the lie I told about going to a mental hospital. That is no lie. <laughs> like the lie I said about But the lie I just said about going to the institute was. But it's no lie that I made an autistic boy cry. Please, I don't want to go there because I feel very sad and very sorry over Why, that. What did you do? You called him and you yelled and you screamed I, and I, at him? I apologized like... Stop! And that was 60 seconds with Perry. But what? why did you yell at the kid? I didn't yell at the kid. And he said you did. He said you yelled at him and made him Did cry. your friend yell at him? My friend didn't know that the kid was on the phone. My friend just thought it was Nick and went off 
What was he going off about? Just I don't know. I, I, he he has these rages like I have rages when so I go off. So let me ask you this, and and we're not going to mention anybody's name, but don't you think that when your friend is around business associates of yours that he has nothing to do with, he should be a little bit more respectful for your business? You know, sometimes yeah, you can't control this guy, and it's mm. getting really crazy. Well, that's okay. I mean, that's who you you deal with, right, Mole? Who did? Me. <clears throat> I dealt with the wrong. I, I, I put my friend in the wrong situation, and it's never going to happen again. No. You said that before. Number one, well, it's not getting this close. But, but do you understand this? I don't really want to talk about it anymore, but I hope you see Thank you. that what you just did there is you may have lost your manager, maybe the best friend you have, a guy who yeah, works with Yeah, that guy was a really, really good friend of yours. Nick was, was a, a nice really good guy. He was almost guy. your best friend, except I'm your best friend. Yeah, besides Mole, John I think he's your D., best. the kid that I've known since I was eight years old. You killed him? He's my best friend. But he doesn't, and he doesn't like you anymore. What would you do to him? Did you lie to him about something? I, no. Probably. I hardly a talk little? to the guy. I right. mean, he's somewhere out in... In, in the Phoenix, Arizona area, yeah, I but understand. I mean, I mean, I hardly talk to John D. But uh, that has been my best friend for life. He's he's like a younger brother to me, and um, well, you know what? Here's what I'm more concerned with. You know, all but now you guys for this for the Big Three podcast. All right, I don't Perry, closest... Perry, Perry, Perry. Can I just say this? Everything you say right now, I don't believe. It's best that we just don't talk. I about believe this right him. Now. No. I, I'm he just, wouldn't lie to us. He's never lied to us. No, he Except lied. for once. When? No. Just 12 days ago, 14 days oh, ago. Oh, this is oh, the only I time? Forgetting. I smoked that apple cherry wheat tobacco. I keep forgetting about that lie. Let me ask you this. When I've loaned you money before and you never paid that it was, back. That was years ago. Okay, so the thousand. That was. All right, that was, you're right. You're right. It's, I, it was years okay, ago. And I that didn't, I lied about, too. All right. And when you stole my wallet, when you came over to borrow money for rent. Okay, that was kind of a lie. I mean, you uh, later admitted it when I told you that there was a camera on you, but that was kind of a lie. But listen, let's we not... Were, that was, let, was, that was kind a of a joke. lie. It was, it was, it was a, joke? Kind of a joke? Okay, well, here's what I'm saying. Let's not talk about this anymore. Let's talk about positive things Thank that you. people want to hear about because I'm sure everybody's going to be on Perry's side. Well, and you know what? You know, everybody's what? Maybe, be... you know, maybe the move to do is talk about the best Thai food this side of uh, Thailand right here in, uh, in beautiful West Hollywood. You're talking about what the huck. When it comes to fine Thai cuisine, it's What the Huck. 323-654-7952. We're not lying to you. It's the best Thai cuisine in the West Hollywood area. That's you- right. It's no lie. And you won't end up in a fake mental hospital. It's no lie. It's the best Thai. Whoa. What the oh, Huck. Man, that's pretty good. You What's gotta the admit, number? That's pretty What's good. the number? 323-654-7952. Thank you. Is that Spanish? No. French? No. Polish? Okay, stop. All right, we're running out of time, and I want to make sure that we get to another story in the long book of Perry's sexcapades. I got to one of those, oh boy. More stories about the broads that I've been banging. Um... Which one do you want to hear now? You were supposed to be ready to come here. That's what you promised. Well, I've got a lot of them. Well, you promised to have one ready. Well, I've, I don't know. Mary Jane. When Perry arrived, I asked him if he had his paperwork, and he got a piece of paper and put it in his pocket, and I said, is that your thing you're supposed to do? And he well, said, you know, yeah. Yeah, I... I All right, then go ahead, do it. That. Perry's sexcapades. I could tell you guys about one of the uh, times back at the grocery store. Va, va, va. You already did that. When you went that the, was one time, not not all the time. A different girl? Another time? Different girl. Talk about a chick named Heidi. Okay? All right. She was another cute piece of ass that I worked with at Albertson's Market in Laguna Beach. Do you see why calling him a piece of ass might offend him? <sighs> uh, sorry, Mary Jane. You're a lady. Okay, I, I shouldn't be talking like that. This is... You know, we're kind of doing guy talk here. No, we're doing Perry's sex capades. Perry's sex capades. Complete different segment. All right, Perry's sex capades. Chick's name's Heidi. She was rocking, socking, sexy as as could be. But uh, she was one of the uh, 
uh, clerks at uh, Albertsons in Laguna Beach. And uh, it was late night, one night, you know, she's <clears throat> she's uh, stuck, in, stuck in the shelves. And then uh, her and I went in the back room. What sort of stuff was she stuck in? She was stuck in the uh, the girl items, you know. The which one? I the 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 girls, the the, the you know, like the tampons and stuff like that, and the makeup. And and uh, that was her section of the store. And then uh, when when she came back into my side of the uh, the uh, oh, you grocery store, like boy stuff. I was I was stuck in uh, the the uh, beer the beer box at the time and uh, pricing all the um, hard liquor upstairs. So uh, she came up, and in her side of the upstairs where the makeup and stuff was, you know, and then we, we had a little talk, and then uh, and then she says, okay, you know, when so-and-so leaves, let's just go in the bathroom and do our thing, which we did. And what was your thing? What was our thing? Yeah. That story was hot, man. That yeah, really, sex. that was really fucking on fire. That was, sex. Okay, Perry, and that's it. Oh, you want to, you want me? No, to I want it to end. That's really good. All right, that was another chapter in Perry's sexcapades. Well, you know, I don't know why. It's either I'm really hot. Perry, stop. Or I'm, or I'm. Well, you're really, wearing a suit. I'm, I'm, I'm. You're wearing a suit. Kind of on a, on a low, low. Blood sugar. Okay, uh, mole. It is time where we do the best thing that we do on this show. It's time once again for a little thing I like to call Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play! Now, if you've never heard Mole Play before, Mole Play is an improv game that we play here. This is where Mole will set some sort of scenario. He'll cast the scene, and then he'll direct the scene. Now, Mole, I'm sorry that we rushed to this, but I just don't feel good today. I don't know why. I feel like I've been really fucking used. You don't want to do you don't want to do Mole play? I want to do Mole play, but I'm just telling you, if I seem a little bit out of it, I might not be as good as I normally am. Will it am. make you feel better to know that Mole play is in no way associated with Mole... With Mo play the board game, a division of Perpetic Industries. That brings a smile to, to my face. That's yes, it does. Scare Are you Master, talking you about that sit? board game that that nearly quiet, killed quiet, some quiet. kids? Scare, scare Why do you got to bring up negative? We never do that. So what did you do for those two weeks that you were lying about being in the mental hospital? And boy, what what happened? If, I locked myself into my place. What would happen if I went if, nowhere? What if Dan and I came over to your apartment? I wouldn't let you in. But we would have known that you were lying to us. That's well, for if sure. You guys, if you guys uh, saw that uh, my stuff was there and stuff, to, nobody would be uh, let in. It would be, uh, you know, you wouldn't know that I was home. Okay, well, let's do mole play. Let's do that. Let's just get out of here. Okay, here's a great mole play, all right? This is something that people have been talking about for a long time. They've been going, what happened that night at the Albertsons when Scaremaster really met Heidi? What was the Heidi Bowl? Scaremaster. That's not Heidi. He right. looks more like the... Uh, no, you're not... He's not, not, that's Heidi. not Heidi. I'm not Heidi. You'll be Heidi. You'll be yeah. Heidi to show us what Heidi was like. Dan, you'd be Scaremaster. No Mo way. play. I don't know what this is, fuck! Come on, I'm back here! I want to get my cock sock! Heidi! Christ. Heidi's busy... Stocking the, the tampons and feminine hygiene. I stuff. wasn't like that. I'm horny! Let me stuff you through with my berry dog! Ah, ah, ah! Heidi, say something, man. Come on, get into it. Lower your voice. I can't! I'm crazy! Lower your voice. Oh my he God. He forces himself on her. Come here! Come here! Suck my cock! Suck it! Suck it! Suck it! Gary Mash, you don't really do it, do it. Get away, get away from me. Get away. What are you doing? Stop it, Barry. Get your mouth off my dick. And that's mole play. Mole play, mole play, let's play mole play. Mole play, mole play, let's play mole play. 
ball play. What the fuck were you doing, Dream? Scaremash, you like quickly <laughs> jumped suck? on that one. You were like, all right. I wasn't sucking dick. I'm making sound effects, you Finally. fucking sick bastards. Well, you know what? Today was an interesting show, to say the least. Can I ask a question about... Uh, about lying? Scary Perry the platypus on my fucking can of soup? Why is it that I don't get a goddamn penny? They use my fucking look. Well, why do they you... steal my fucking hat? Why don't you sue Campbell's Soup, Scaremaster? Let's just I'm not, not mention gonna, suing. I don't sue it's anybody just nonstop. anymore. Okay, good. When I get done with my brother, it's, it's over. It's uh, th- that's the last lawsuit, your brother. <sighs> when you get your family and get the money out of them, then it's well, over. Yeah, when I get the money that was stolen from my mother's d- will, it's right. It's fucking... That, Let's not it, talk that does not stuff. sound like the LeBrant that I know. No, Oh, yeah, doesn't. that's exactly the, the LeBrant, you know. All right, let's the forget it. The fucking lying, thieving piece of <laughs> shit. Oh, liar, he's a liar, he's a liar. He's more he's of a liar. thief than anybody oh, else in the fucking Who's the minute. liar? Oh, Who's the liar? Let me oh, just... yeah, okay, I fibbed about being you in the fucking fib, you lied. For two weeks, we didn't know what the hell was happening. He, two I bet fucking And the weeks. only thing he lied about was trying to save your feelings only that your thing mom he loved about? him more than you. The only thing he lied about? He lied about his fucking entire life. He did. He lied. He lied to save your feelings that your mom loved him more than she loved you. That's why she left everything to him. All right. That's let's just allegedly. Allegedly. Well, if you want to get in touch with us on the social network, don't forget. On Twitter, you can get me at Simply Don using the number one. Simply Don one. Perry's at Perry 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 eight one eight. Mole, are you on Twitter? I'm uh, right now. I'm under Dr. Marvin Rothstein on um, on LinkedIn, but I think I made a mistake. I think I got some other guy's thing. Oh. I have scary or uh, Perry. All right, wait a second. Let me let me just Facebook. say this, Perry. Perry, can I finish what I'm saying? John Quincy Adams, who he likes us to give a shout out at JQA Productions. Also, if you want to get in touch with us on Facebook, I'm at Don Barris and that's Perry F. Caravello, and that's K A R as in car. A V is in Victoria, E L L O. And don't forget, October 15th, that is a Monday night. Don't forget, it's the Ding Dong Show Rocktoberfest. It's a Ding Dong Show Rock. Shut rock. up, shut up. It's a Ding Dong Show Rocktoberfest. It's got the Barris Kennedy Overdrive, all the Ding Dongers, a special appearance by. The and and hopefully. I would play drums. <laughs> that would be. Mole. I've never played drums. <laughs> Would, more than anything in the world would love to have you come and play drums oh, during man. it. How big is the Please. drum kit? Well, you, you'll sing and I'll play the drums. Oh, yeah. You're going to play drums? Yes. I'll sing and play drums. That's perfect. Like Terry Bozio. But, but more, that would be the best night ever. Super fun. <laughs> All right. So, so you start practicing the drums. Anyway, put it there, guys. Here we are. We're back together. Big, Big-